This presentation will discuss the central processing unit, CPU components, and the fetch execute cycle. The central processing unit, or CPU, is arguably the most important part of the computer system. It is here that all the basic instructions are interpreted and executed. When we talk about the components of the CPU, we refer to the ALU, CU, registers, and communication buses with, uh, within a microprocessor. The ALU is the component of the process that performs arithmetic, comparisons, and other logical operations. It includes basic calculations such as addition, subtraction, multipl multiplication, and division. The control unit, or CU, is the component responsible for the operations in the computer. The control unit has the role, much like the traffic light, interprets the instructions issued by a program and then initi initiates the appropriate action to be carried out by the instructions. Types of internal components that the control unit uh, directs include the ALU registries and communication buses. The processor also contains small high-speed storage locations called registers. These temporarily hold data and instructions. Registers are the part of the processor but not part of the memory. Common registers include the program counter, address register, accumulator and instruction register. The program counter is just one of the many registers in the hardware of the CPU. It's just like the other registers and consists of a bank of binary latches. A binary latch is also known as a flip-flop. The speed of a computer is limited by many factors, one of which is the number of instructions that can be executed by the CPU at any given amount of time. Generally, each part of the CPU can only perform one single ta uh, task at a time, so all processing in a single core CPU must be done sequentially. The fetch execute cycle or machine cycle is a series of four steps that are followed by a CPU whenever an instruction is executed. First, the CPU fetches the instructions from memory. The instruction is then decoded into signals that can be executed. The commands are carried out in the executed stage and then finally they are um, stored if necessary. The clock speed or clock rate is the speed in which a microprocessor can execute the machine cycle. Every computer contains an internal clock that regulates the rate at which instructions are executed and synchronized with all the various computer components. The CPU requires a fixed number of clock ticks or clock cycles to execute each instruction. The faster the clock, the more instructions the CPU can execute per second. Clock speeds are expressed in megahertz or gigahertz. In most cases, the CPU and memory share signaling characteristics and operate in synchrony thanks to the system clock. The bus connecting the CPU and memory is one of the defining characteristics of the system and often referred to as a system bus. As we mentioned previously, like CPUs, buses also have clock speeds. Ideally, the CPU clock speed and the bus clock speed should be the same, so neither of the components slows down the other. However, the bus clock speed is often slower than the CPU clock speed, which creates a bottleneck of data. This is why new local buses within the CPU um, architecture have been created. The control bus is used by the CPU for communicating with other devices within the computer. While the address bus carries the information on which device the CPU is communicating with, and the data bus carries out the actual data being processed. The control bus carries commands from the CPU and returns status signals from the device.